In the previous episode, we learned how to grab and shoot with our realistic VR gun. And now in this episode, we learn how to make a realistic reloading. So we have now a good foundation for our gun. Now what I'm going to do is add realistic reloading for the gun. So for this, we'll use two things. And if you have already watched my tutorial series on how to make a VR game with the XR Unity Toolkit, you will see that you already know how to do this. So let me show you first how we can put a magazine back into the gun when we have no more ammo. So as you can see right now under the magazine location, we already hear magazine black that is located here in the handle of the gun. But in my case, I want this object not to be part of the gun. So I'm going to uh, drag it there. And as you can see, this creates an error saying that I cannot do this as it is a prefab. So to fix this, this issue, I'm going to right click on the handgun prefab and click on unpack prefab completely. And then now we can drag here the M1911 magazine uh, out of this game object to not make it as a child. Perfect. Okay, now what I want to make is make it so that I can uh, snap the magazine under the handle and it will snap to the correct position. So for this, we will use a snap zone as I shown in one of my tutorial. So to make a snap zone, it's actually really easy. What we need to do is go here in the magazine location and create a 3D sphere. We can already remove the mesh renderer and the mesh filter and I can maybe reduce the radius to 0 0.05. Perfect. Now I want this collider to be a bit down, so I will just decrease here the while value to minus 0 0.02. Perfect. And now here is the star of the show. I will add the XR socket interactor that will let us snap any object on this uh, object over there. And now finally, we need to set the sphere collider to is trigger equals true. And we also need to make our magazine a Nixar grab interactable. So I will click on add component and add a Nixar grab interactable component. So the rigid body is already there. And maybe we can create a collider for this scheme object by going on its child, adding a mesh collider and setting it to convex. And this way it will take the shape of uh, the magazine right there. Perfect. Now I don't want it to collide with the gun right here. So I'm just going to move it out of the way. And now let's try what we've made by clicking on play. Okay, so as you can see, I can grab the magazine, I can grab the gun. And when I approach the magazine to the gun, it snap right under the gun and as you can see I can use it to the gun and it's looking already great perfect but we have some issue right now as you can see it snapped to not a correct position but also when I release the gun you can see that it does a really 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 strange thing and I'm going to show you a fix for this as well so to snap the gun so to snap the magazine to a correct position what we can do is all ear or gun like this and then I'm going to go uh, to the Unity editor. And now in, this, in the XR socket interactor, as you can see, we have a child, which is called sphere attach. And we can maybe increase its position until it fits nicely like this, maybe. Now I'm going to copy this component and then we can leave play mode. And now if we want to do the correct snap, we can simply create an empty child under the sphere and calling it sphere attach point maybe. And we can now pass the component that we copied during play mode on its transform like this. And there you go. Now the final step is to drag here this game object in the attach transform game object right there. And there you go. Now, as you can see, it snapped to the correct position. Okay, so now for the real issue with the physics, as you can see, we have some problem with some of our rigid body colliding with each other. And it's actually even here the same case if I grab the gun and if I put it under me, as you can see, I'm able to fly. So 
To prevent this, we need to create some separate layer and disable the interaction between the two in the interaction physics matrix. So first, let me go uh, to the Unity editor. Here for the gun, I will create a new layer that I will call grab interact table. Perfect. And on the XR rig, I will also create a new layer that I will call player. Now back to the XR rig, we can set it to the player layer, but make sure that only the XR rig game object and not its children will change. So I will click here on no, this object only. And now for the end gun, we can change its layer to grab interactable. The same goes for the magazine. And there you go. So this way we'll have only this game object on the player layer and the magazine and also the end gun on the grab interactable. And so now to disable the interaction between these two, we can go to edit project settings physics and here in the layer collision matrix we can first disable the interaction between the grab interactable and the player so so here and finally to not have the magazine colliding with the end gun we can also disable the co the inner collision with the grab interactable with himself so i will just uncheck here the collision between himself like this perfect and now if we click on play as you can see, I can grab the gun, I can grab the magazine. If I put them under me, there is no issues. But if I try to approach the magazine, it won't work. And it's because if we disable the interaction physics between the two, the socket interactor cannot grab the magazine. So we simply finally need to go to the XR socket interactor and change its layer to something else like the default layer. And there you go, now it is working perfectly. As you can see, we are able to reload our gun and take out and put back the magazine. But while we are at it, I also want to show you an issue that we can have with this gun and with the socket interactor. For example, if I right click and create a little cube over there, scale it down and make it grabbable by adding an XR grab interactable. If I click on play, I will be able to grab the gun, but also to snap the cube in the XR socket interactor. So we need to find a way to only restrict the XR socket interactor to the magazine and not just all the XR interactable. And so to do it, we can override the XR socket interactor over there. So I'm going to remove it and create a new component that I will call XR socket interactor tag. So this script will be really simple. We simply need to write unity engine.xr.interaction.toolkit at the top and override the XR socket interactor. I will need as a variable a public string called target tag. And now we can remove the start and the update function and we want to override can select function. And now when we want to select an object, I want to call base can select, but also check if the tag of the interactable is the same as our compare, uh, as our target tag with interactable.compare tag target tag. Perfect. And this way we can only select the object with the correct target tag. So let's go back to Unity. For the target tag, I can maybe write magazine. And now we need to set this tag to uh, the magazine as well. So I will click back on the magazine. And here on tag, I will click and click on add tag then. Create a new tag that I will call magazine. Click on save, go back to the magazine and now finally set it to the new tag that we've made. And there you go. Now if we click on play, as you can see, I am not able anymore to snap the cube, but I can still do it with here. But don't forget, like I did here, to update the XR socket interactor tag with the correct variable that we made earlier. So to simply drag here the sphere attach point in the attach transform variable. And there you go. Now I think that everything is set up correctly and we have a reloading function that works like a charm. So the next step for now for us 
to make a realistic weapon now is to be able to pull the slider to reload. And so this is why I'm going to show you. But as I said earlier, you already know how to make because in one of the Unity XR Toolkit episode, we learn how to grab a drawer and this will actually be exactly the same, except that the drawer will be stuck to our gun. 